when I make the turn, like, and I see the pylon, and I know I'm going to run at this point. You know, I'm thinking the whole time, I'm diving, man. I'm diving. I'm diving. This is going to look great. It's going to be a sweet picture. This is the go-ahead touchdown against Northwestern at home late in the fourth quarter. Like, this is sweet. I always wanted to do that. So that's what I was going for there. I first met Matt McGloin when he was, and he was a freshman quarterback at uh, West Granton High School. My grandfather went to West Granton High School, and he always said that's that's where men become men. That's not like their official slogan or anything, but I think everybody who's ever gone to West Granton has kind of lived that mantra a little bit, and and, and Matt certainly did. And I would say the label of like a fiery guy for Matt, it, it is true, um, but. I'd respect him even if he was on another team, though, because I, I just like competitors like that. He's a quarterback. He's not 6'5", 230, you know, just molded to be a quarterback. You know, he's a guy that came up from the bottom and had an opportunity and made the most of it. They call it moxie at Penn State, but in Scranton, you call it being from Scranton. Doesn't matter who the refs are, we'll never get that call. Why? That's the way Why it is. is that, man? What do you think it is? This is the way it is, man. I know what you. I think you're saying, but what are you saying? Right what you think. When you look at 2012, I don't think anything about that year was normal for us. We had 12 opportunities to put on the Penn State helmet, put on the Penn State jersey, and that was it. Your, your, your season at Penn State was over. Your career at Penn State was over. I mean, you know, we knew what you know was at stake for us every single week. And, you know, as the season went on there, we, we kind of started to figure out who we were as a team. The quarterback and the coach connection is really what made that team go. The, the Matt and Bill O'Brien relationship was, was interesting on, on so many levels. We were you know, almost the same person, which is why, why we butted heads so much. For him, he put so much trust in me and so much trust in our offense. You know, he, he was the type of coach that he's giving you the keys of the car and he's telling you to go drive. That was Coach O'Brien's whole philosophy is that, listen, we're not going to run bad plays. So, Matt, it's your job as a quarterback to get us into the right play. I'm giving you that freedom, you know, and, that, and again, as a quarterback, that, that, that's a great feeling to have, you know, especially when you're a guy like me, who, you know, at the time probably thinks, you know, he knew, he knew it all. There was nothing Bill O'Brien was ever going to say to Matt McGloin that was going to rattle his confidence. That, that was, that was kind of one of those deals where Bill could be Bill and, and Matt was okay with that. He's always the most prepared guy. And in this game, the, the Northwestern game was, was, was a really great example of that. Going into this Northwestern game, they were undefeated, and we knew that this was one of those games at home that we can just start to rebuild the program, because that's all 2012 was about. Look, anytime you play a Northwestern football team, you can't beat yourself. You have to earn everything. You have to earn yardage. You have to earn first downs. You have to earn points. That's how well coached Northwestern has always been under Patrick Show. That, that game went for about three quarters. Until the very end of the third quarter, exactly as, as you would picture that. Is Penn State used a lot of Zach's win act. They took an early lead. Give it to for the touchdown. Northwestern, they come back. And here's the pitch as Coulter gets it to Mark, who's in. Then Penn State took the lead. Robinson comes up and it's a touchdown. Then Northwestern got it back. You go to the end of the third quarter, and the, the one play that can't happen for Penn State happens. A very good return, man. He's got a pump return for a touchdown this year. This is a great kick. Mark backs up, fields it at his 25. Able to make the first guy miss, though. Mark past the 40. Mark with the kicker to beat. Mark inside the 30. State in bounds. Touchdown, Northwestern. After they, they had that punt return, it was debilitating. Um, it hurt. It took, the, took a lot of the air out of the crowd, a lot of the air out of the sideline. At that moment, I feel like just as a team, we just needed somebody to say something, to do something. And lo and behold, Matt comes into that huddle during the TV timeout and just looks everybody in the eye and says, I live for these moments. He said, I don't know about y'all, but like, I love this. And I kind of, he said that and I'm like, he's 
he's right, man. Like, this is it. It's not going to be easy. We knew this season wasn't going to be easy, but, like, we have an opportunity to come back, win this game. And just seeing that, just confidence out of him, out of the quarterback, you just knew that we was going to be able to go down there and drive. We had a nice, long, dang near 20-play drive, got a big touchdown, and everybody was like, okay, we got, we got this, we got this. Obviously, we wanted to run plays fast, but we still want to run smart plays. We don't want to run plays just to run plays. That's kind of the package we went to there in that fourth quarter. You know, if you watch the film, it's a lot of the same plays. It's a lot of the same stuff. You know, whether it's left side or the right side, everybody was just in check with what we were doing that it started to give Northwestern some issues. Momentum is a real thing. And the will throw. Has time. Out. First to play. Inside the 10. It's first and goal the six. Once you start getting the crowd back into it, the other team can feel it because they had all the momentum after Vendrick Mark uh, returned that punt return. And we kind of had, well, luckily we had a guy in the huddle, Matt, that could kind of get us back on track. Um, they didn't have that. So I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do see the running touchdown highlight all the time still, and I still get asked about it, which is which is funny. And I got the snap. I, I remember just taking like one step back looking, and I just didn't like anything I saw. And for me, a lot of times when you're in that moment, if you don't have a clean pocket right away, or if you're not seeing what you want to see right away, you got to go play backyard football. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. that touchdown play um I was the first read on it the LeBron he um, he gave me the gave me the opportunity but they covered it it was a play that we ran very often and I was just running an outbreaking route from the slot Matt checked for me but the, there was some good coverage on it and once I kind of seen Matt scrambling around my first instinct was to try to get open in the back of the end zone um scramble drill that's what they teach you but once I kind of seen in Matt's eyes that he seen the corner of the end zone and I seen that he had the corner of the end zone my main job was just to keep my guy guarding me and again, I'm not much of a runner. You know, I'll sit here and tell you that my 40 time is fast, but it's really not. But I just look to escape, man. I look to create, you know, saw, saw the pylon, saw the corner of the end zone. As I got closer, I didn't think it was gonna be as open, like wide open as it was. So I'd already made the decision to dive, right? So Matt's dive in the end zone. It looked a little funny in the moment, but obviously I was hyped by the nose. But once I looked up on the screens um, afterwards, I was like, what the heck? Like. That, it was different. It was different, but I could tell he kind of was halfway into, oh, I'm about to get hit. I need to go die for this, or I could just run this in and look cool. Um, he didn't take the cool route, unfortunately, but look, six points is six points. He told me his knee brace locked up. I, I don't know. It, it, there was kind of some really questionable things happening with the knee brace. He said it got it got stuck or it got stuck in the ground or, or, or something. I don't know what happened, but but there was a lot of excuses about how why this looked the way it did. But I, I've gone and seen this this replay a lot. And, and I'll tell you what happened. The guy didn't know whether to dive or not. That's all it was. He, he just got to about the two yard line and thought, oh, I don't want to get tackled at the one here because I'm going to look really slow. So he just, he just kind of half dove. I just did this like <laughs> this like goofy roll, man. I got up, gave the championship belt, which that was at least the sweet part. You know, maybe hopefully that made up for the dive. That's the mat I've always known, and the mat I've always known is going to stumble into the end zone and get up and celebrate like he just nailed a half gain or somersault. You know, and and and, and won an Olympic gold medal. I'm not sure he realized what the dive looked like, but I'm also not sure he would have cared. In his mind, hey, I have scored the touchdown to give us the lead in the game. We're underdogs. They're undefeated. They're ranked. Screw it. That's what football is all about, man. Just living in the moment, having fun with it. Um, when you have a moment like that, you are the man. And, like, you know, you are the king of that time. So I'm glad that he 
enjoyed it. He did what he had to do, man. And I'm sure I was behind him doing the same thing eventually. Driving home that night, I, I thought, you know, this, there's, there's something a little different going on around here with this program. There was no situation that they were going to face the rest of the way that was going to be as tough as what they had already gone through. I don't think they win the Wisconsin game, which is which is the game everybody kind of looks at that year as the trademark game, the, the bunch of fighters game at the end of the year. I really think there's no Wisconsin game without what they did against Northwestern. To come back after being down 11 in the fourth quarter, um, you know, it just it didn't get better than that, you know, for for us as a team, for me as a player. I mean, that was a special moment, and I think that game in itself showed everybody, you know, not not just the type of team we have, but the type of people we had on that team. 